Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Demir Ismagalov versus Magomed Mustafaev. And how I see this part right here is um I just feel I think that um Demir Ismagalov is the more tactical fighter. I feel like Magomed Mustafaev, he's very strong, he's very powerful, he's very explosive. Can be a bit unpredictable because he just goes out there explode like you might come out of nowhere doing a spinning explosive spinning, spinning back kick. But it's not like Demir Ismagalov is the guy trying to crowd your space and running on you and beat you up and running on you and try to, you know, close that gap. He's a guy that's going to fight on the outside, so he's going to... He likes to, you know, get a feel for what you're going to do anyway. So even if you are very explosive, he'll be at base, so he'll have, you know, a little bit more time or ample time or decent enough time to, you know, see what you're doing. Even though it could be a fast explosive, he's going to be kind of sitting on the outside, so he's going to see you loading up and he's going to have that extra, little bit of time or that extra bit of time to see it, even if it's unpredictable, even if it's explosive, even if it's pretty set pretty well, and be better kept you know better in a better position to re to respond and have a little bit more time to react to that and so he's guy he's not gonna go out there and look to just run through his opponent and, and that's where typically with those guys will get caught like those guys trying to come on the inside be aggressive striker trying to you know constantly for pressure constantly be in your grill and then they can get caught with like some spinning backfield because they so caught them trying to like touch you and be in your face and that's how they get caught with those spinning back kicks spinning back fields, but typically or if they try and pressure you then level chain go for takedowns and they get caught by spinning cat back kick right to the jaw because they trying to level change and they just you just time it with a spinning back kick or a knee but the mirrors magalov is long he's lanky and he's rangy he's gonna fight on the outside and i feel like he's just a more polished fighter i feel like he's the more um technical striker i just feel like his magalov like not his magalov but magalman mustafaev is just like i said more supposed to maybe more powerful but technically i feel like in every area is magalov got the advantage I feel like he's the more technical wrestler in my opinion well, matter of fact, my, my style might be more technical wrestler, but I feel like as far as overall MMA fighter, without a doubt, is Magalov is just a more technical fighter, and he will higher fight IQ, and in positions, he will be able to use the situation to get the advantage of the wrestling. Maybe in a pure wrestling match, Magomed Mustafaev, give him to him, but in MMA, with mixing the striking and angles and the clinch and the setups, I feel like he can get the better of the wrestling, and I don't think he should have any great issue with Mustafaev's wrestling. Or his striking. I see this has been a decision. I definitely see um, Mustafa Five making it. Not, you know, not giving him no easy work. He'll be come out there. He's going to try and crash. And he's going to try to land these big shots. Trying to explode and land big shots. But Mag Magalov the whole time will be landing clean flush short shots. Clean flush shots. Like he's, gonna, he's not going to be landing on the, all the time. Landing these big spectacular shots. But he's going to be landing the consistent shots. He's landing the clean counts where is Mustafa Five going to be going for the big explosive stuff. Missing and whiffing for the most part. Or hitting guard. Whereas is Magalov going to be landing clean flush shot. Had Probably have a significantly higher accuracy rate. Probably Mustafa probably gonna be like twenty three percent, thirty percent land. Whereas Mustafa probably gonna be like forty five. Well, I gave him too much credit. Probably like a twenty twenty five to twenty eight percent for Mustafa. Whereas Ismagalov probably gonna be like a forty five. I'm gonna say at least forty percent and up, which don't sound great, but that is actually very great. You land like pretty much every other punch you're throwing. That's a real good. And you're throwing two punches, you're gonna land one. Whereas that time Mustafa ain't gonna be doing that. But either way. Clean and polish over explosive and aggressive. In this fight, I got Demir Ismagalov via decision.